Welcome to this week's video and I am on a little bit of a ramble. So I headed off to Madeira for a couple of days. So if you like cute triangle houses, lots of nature, lots of gardens, I think you're going to enjoy this week's video. You guys know the sus. I'm going to show you this room before I wreck it. I'm after getting jammy again. So this place includes breakfast and your dinner, which I thought was good value, so like half board. I booked it because of the title is called Pestane Garden Village or something, but the gardens. As soon as I drove up, I was like, oh, wait, you see the pink flower that's on the balcony? I did book this trip kind of last minute, so you will definitely get it cheaper. I'm also riding solo, so your girl don't have no one to split the room charge with. But um, it's like an actual little house. I think all of this place just has little studio um, apartments. But I just think it's the most adorable little thing ever. So when you come into my little house, <laughs> so bathroom in here, decent size. We've got a tub, just your loo, bum washer, nice little setup here. This is grand. There's a shower, isn't there? Yes. And, oh, did they give me, oh, they have smelly stuff. And look at this fabulous door. How amazing is this? So through here is my little bedroom. Nothing little about that. Got a lovely king, king? I think it's a king size. Don't really know the difference, but lovely like piece of furniture. It kind of feels like an Airbnb, even though it is a hotel. And then the view is just, it's not much, but my other balcony here has a lovely view. So then when you come out, I have a little lounge area. This is cute. Um, in here is wardrobe stuff and, oh, robes. I did see a thing for a spa and then just like the safe and stuff like that. And then around here, oh yeah. You've got television, another lovely piece of furniture. Looks like, yeah, it's just being painted. It's almost like a veneer. And then a little breakfast table. But then out here, will you see the lovely pink? Hang on, you'll see it here. Look at this, amazing. I'm gonna try and zoom in. Flower that is just grown all over the balcony. There is people um, just chilling by the pool, so I don't want to ruin their butts um, or privacy. <laughs> I've had a bit of a wild day with the traveling. The plane apparently was flammable. I think we spilt fuel all over the thing. I don't know. So there was a fire brigade. Tomorrow I have a day trip booked and I'm really hungry right now. I'm hungry. Oh, also flight time is three hours, 40 minutes from Dublin. I flew direct and Ryanair fly out. Now going to be Wednesday and I think Saturday but I flew out on Thursday and it was the last Thursday flight and then it changes to Wednesday so just check but it's obviously if you're watching this in the future I went in March it's obviously cheaper to go in March as well but the weather is a nice balmy 22 degrees right now so I'm happy with that. Yeah I just need to go get food so tomorrow we are going to go to up that big mountain. I say, I think it's the mountain that had clouds beneath it as I was flying in. Um, Santana, cute little village with triangle houses. You'll see it all tomorrow. So I'm just gonna get some food, get some sunshine, just chill. It's afternoon time for me. And tomorrow, lots of adventure. I'll get some shots of the cute garden um, as I'm walking around as well. So if you like gardens, then I think you will like this hotel. It does back onto another hotel that is like a sister hotel, but you can kind of pass through and there's no problem. I did notice that they did an afternoon tea and a walk around the gardens. I think it was like 14 euros. But if you're a guest, I think anyone can kind of just come in and look at their gardens, but don't quote me. As it was March when I was here, the hotel seemed kind of quiet, but I think that is just normal for this time of year. When I was looking for hotels, I did find them quite pricey, but then again, I literally booked this a week beforehand. So if you are staying longer, maybe something like a holiday rental or an Airbnb might be cheaper. I went for this hotel because it included dinner and breakfast, so I was like, okay, I can offset some of the costs in the buffet.
I don't know if you can hear. There is lizards in this little nook that I'm in. I'm just about to head on my day trip, but I was just having one last little walk around these gardens. I definitely think there's lizards in here. Anyway, I've got my backpack, got my water, got my stuff. We're going to a mountain. Let me try and get a lizard shot before I go though. Okay, they're definitely in here. Sometimes if I move, you'll hear them. <laughs> I feel like this is turning into David Amber. Oh, there's one there. Oh, did my camera pick it up? I hope you've seen it. I'm kind of questioning whether this is a good idea. Do I need to get a lizard bite before I go on my day tour? Probably not. We will have to come back to the lizards at another moment. To get around the island and see the mountains and the levadas, it's recommended to rent a car. You can use the public buses, although some of them to the harder to reach areas are not as frequent. Or if you're like me, you can do a day tour and squeeze loads in in one day and be chauffeured around. The tour I went on cost me 35 euros and it was for the whole day. I got picked up at quarter to nine and dropped back at half five and I got to see so much that I wouldn't have gotten done by myself. This day trip that I went on brought me to the east of the island and I got to do one of the Levada walks and I also got to go up to the big mountain that I will type the name on the screen when it pops up and I'm not going to try and pronounce it. I also got to go to the village of Santana which you're going to see where the cute triangle houses are. We also stopped for lunch in Santana around about one o'clock and we had an hour and a half to explore. At each stop we got about 20-30 minutes depending on where it was, if it was like a photo point or a lookout point. So I felt I got to see like as much as I could in the time that I had on this day trip. Also I got to do a Levada walk on this day trip which was about an hour so you had a nice hour's walk to yourself. There is a loads of Levada walks all over the island so it is nice to do one and they're nice and shaded as well so if you're feeling the heat like I was on this particular day they are nice and shaded so you can kind of cool off. They also I don't know if you maybe saw my Camino vlog they gave me Camino vibes that lovely woodland um, nature walk it was really nice. So here is the town of Santana which is where you'll find those adorable triangle houses but most of them are souvenir shops because these were traditional houses but they obviously were expensive to keep they have you know thatched roofs and most of them went into ruins but the ones that you see now have been restored but they are mostly shops or you'll see some of these little houses at restaurants and they're just places where you can walk around and have a little look but they're not used as actual houses. So once finished in Santana with food in my belly, it was time to do a Levada walk. There is loads of these on the island. So the one that I'm doing is on the way to the top of the mountain. There's also a really nice lookout point here where there are some very friendly finches that will take food out of your hand. Now they didn't take it out of my hand. However, I've seen pictures of people doing it. If you do want to get that shot, bring a little handful of birdseed and you might get them to eat from your hand.
So now it was time to be 1,818 meters above sea level and head to the mountain. There is a popular hike. I think it's about seven or eight kilometers. It is marked as difficult. I didn't see any stops for public transport up this way, but I do know that there are certain tour guides who will bring you up. You can get a guide and walk with them or they will collect you at the end point and apparently it takes roughly four hours to do this hike. Good morning, we're gone rambling again. The clocks changed last night and it threw me off because it didn't get bright until about quarter to eight. So at home, I think Ireland is just a little bit over, it's the same time zone, but it would be brighter. God, it would be brighter. Even with the clocks changing, it'd still be bright at seven. But sunrise, it's like quarter past eight and it's only, hang on, I'll show you. It's only starting to brighten up. Oh, look at that view. It's like paradise with that pink flower. My plan for today is go get the bus. I Googled the bus and I used that app, Move It. And I think the bus is two euro. I think you can get a day pass for 4.90 or something. And I'm going to get the bus down to the centre and walk around the old town because apparently it's really pretty and they have some painted doors. Then I'm going to get the cable car up to Mont or Monte, I think it's called, M-O-N-T-E. And apparently that is known as the Sintra of Madeira. And I think back in 2019, I visited um, Sintra in Portugal, in Lisbon. Well, it's about an hour's train, I think, from Lisbon, and I absolutely fell in love with it. So it's, this is supposed to be like nature, loads of gardens, nice and quiet and peaceful. So hopefully that's what it is. Now it's Sunday. There is these chaps who, they look like picnic baskets and you get like a, you get pushed down a hill. I'm not describing it as well as I should, but I don't know if they operate on a Sunday. And you get on them at Mont, and then they, it's like a two kilometer push down a hill in these little baskets. It looks really fun and the chaps wear traditional hats and stuff. But I don't think they work on a Sunday, so I need to check that out. And then you can get a cable cart, a cable cart from Mont to the Botanic Gardens. That apparently have a lovely view over Funchal as well. That's my rough plan. <laughs> All public transport, I'm just rambling by myself. Another little tip I want to share is, I didn't bring a tripod with me, so you're gonna to have to just bear with me. But if you ever, so something I do, I don't know if, yeah, this has a map. If you ever are looking for things to do, what I like to do is I go online and I look on the likes of Viator or whatever, and I'll pick a trip. And then normally you can scroll through the details <clears throat> and it will tell you the drop off points of like each trip, kind of cheeky to do. <laughs> you can just then take them drop off points and jot them down. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm a bit hoarse, I think it's air condition. And then you can go and just do it via public transport and use Google or any of the bus apps to see if you can figure out the route yourself. So if you don't want to do like a paid trip, I sometimes do that. So here, like on any of these little, um, this has loads of like walks and details on the back. But if you just have a little look, do a bit of research, Google the locations they go to and see if you can travel there yourself. So use these as your itinerary almost, is what I'm trying to say. So if you're ever stuck, I do this everywhere I go. Um, a lot of the times I will follow through and just do the tour because the public transport might not um, the bus times mightn't work out for me. Um, around here it's grand like to go down to the centre, the bus seems to be every 10 minutes, um, love a bit of public transport, but when you're going up into the mountains, um, the buses seem to be like one every hour or one every half hour, so, uh, but again it's March as well, so this could change when it comes into peak season. Um, it probably there probably will be more routes and stuff when it is a busier but i just thought i'd share that little tip go on the website see the um, visit points and then if you have a car you can then use that as your itinerary if you're driving around or if you're using a bus as well so just my little tip 
The bus stop was a two minute walk from my hotel and it was really easy to find. It cost me 195 to go one way to the centre and I got off at the last stop which was right beside the cable car. A return ticket for the cable car is 18 euros but only buy it one way if you plan on coming down on the picnic baskets or you can get a return ticket. You can also get a bus as well which is cheaper. So oh, it's about 10 a.m. and if you come to, so this is the gardens and palace in Mont or Monty, and not many people, everyone who got off the cable car, they seem to walk straight to the basket people, which I think the basket people are here on a Sunday because the girl in the um, cable car that I was sharing with said that they're here but until one o'clock on a Sunday. So <clears throat> I'll try and see them. That's a little bit travel sticky going up the cable car for some reason. So I don't know if I'm gonna go down the basket, but I'll get a cute shot of them. And um, so this gardens is more of an oriental and tropical uh, garden. It's not the botanic gardens. I'm gonna see if I can find that cable car and head to that botanic garden. This is a different one. Oh, there's a really nice view actually that I will show you and I think there's a little palace as well you can probably hear all the water behind me but if you're looking for something different i didn't see many people coming in here i don't know maybe people aren't interested in the gardens but i know that's what we like so i'll get you this viewpoint and then i'm going to spend another half an hour rambling around and the plan is to try and i want to see the basket but i don't think i'll go down on one because vertigo may kick in and then i'm gonna try and find the other gardens and see what else is up here it's really relaxing really peaceful oh here's another waterfall this first set of gardens is the tropical gardens and then you also have the botanic gardens which you need to get a cable car to which is about a five minute walk from here i don't know which gardens was my favorite but one thing i did like about this tropical one was there was lots of trees shrubs foliage it felt really full and evergreen and for march gardens can kind of look a bit empty but this just felt like it was alive I keep calling them picnic baskets but you can totally see why I was calling them picnic baskets so this is the jaunt you can get I think it is a two kilometer spin down the road now they are kind of expensive it's 25 euro for one person 35 for two I think there was an option for three people and that was 45 so they are kind of pricey I decided not to get in one firstly because they finished up at one o'clock on the Sunday and I wanted to get the cable car 
to the Botanic Gardens. The cable car for the gardens is about a five minute walk from the first cable car station and it's easy to find. A ticket to get into the Botanic Gardens was seven euro fifty and the Botanic Gardens definitely had more flowering plants so you could see the difference between the two gardens so the tropical garden was more kind of water evergreen and this one was definitely more open sunny had loads of flowering plants and there were some really good views of Funchal as well and if you found a way from the dark the stories I've been told they never seem to leave my mind mm, And this road that I am on I gotta stay here for some time You'll also find one of the triangle houses here so if you are maybe you're on a cruise stop and you're only here for the day you will get to see one in the botanic gardens so if you don't make it out to Santana you can still get your triangle house fix and you'll see one here you can't go inside it though. another thing I loved about the botanic gardens is all of the grasses seemed to be full of clover full of what we would probably once have called weeds and buttercups and like a mini meadow so I didn't what I loved was I didn't see perfect grass and it definitely looked like there was no pesticides or anything being used the grass was just like a meadow waiting to erupt also as it was March a lot of roses and some of the flowering plants had not opened so if you do come in summertime I'd say you're in for a treat as lots will be in bloom the gardens I decided to get the cable car back down because it was too late to get one of the picnic baskets and I decided to just walk through the marina and back to my hotel it was about a two kilometer walk a little bit uphill so I was a little bit sweaty afterwards hello please ignore the half dried swimming pool cousin it hair as soon as I go somewhere that's more than 20 degrees the hair just decides to go so I want to get my walk in as you do when you're on holidays after lunch walk and there is an embroidery shop it's called I think Bordels I have it in my google maps and it's like two two and a half kilometers down and two half kilometers back up nice little 5k walk Grand. This embroidery shop is kind of renowned, like it's really popular. They do an embroidery class on every Thursday, but I flew in on a Thursday and I fly home on a Wednesday. So I'm going to miss the chance to do an embroidery class and I think it's only 25 euros as well. But I want to visit the shop anyway so I can just have a little look around, maybe get some inspiration. I saw some pictures online and it looked really cute. There is also a five minute walk from the embroidery shop. There is, I think this street is called Santa Cruz and artists, so it's a street in the old town and artists have painted the doors on derelict buildings, I think, um, in their own little style. So they're two of the things that I want to explore, not gonna lie. Not that I'm not one for sitting by the pool, but I actually had some work to do on my laptop this morning and I spent like two hours by the pool lounging and then I was kind of like, I don't know, need me a little walk. So I went and had my lunch and now it's time for a walk. I just can't, 
very play to the people. I, do you know what? When you're on holiday, it's your holiday. You do you. So if you want to sit eight hours by the pill, do that. And if you want to have a ramble, do that. And if you want to have a mix of both, do that. But I think I'm kind of the sort of person that's like half ramble, half relax. Because the rambling, I find relaxing. Anyway, I'm waffling. <laughs> Let's go. popped into the embroidery shop and you can also do a class on a Thursday from 9 to 1 and I think you get a tour of the factory too. I picked up one of the DIY embroidery kits and it came with a USB and I think I got a cotton piece of material, all of the needles and the threads as well. Across the road from the embroidery shop is this market where you can get fresh fruits, herbs, they even had some flowers and gardening bits. And then just to the side of this is where you'll find this street that has all of the painted doors on them. I am just back from my walk, very steady, not using, oh, I squashed my hand. I am going now to hit up the dinner buffet. Um, I do have another day here tomorrow, but I'm going to pack away my camera and I think I might actually, there was a menu, there was a menu for the spa. I think I need nail massage because look at the old places. I hope you enjoyed my little ramble around Madeira. Like all travel videos that I pop up, this is just what I got done in the time I had. There is obviously loads. If there's anything I didn't do and you want to see the magic of YouTube, I'm sure you could search and there'll be a video for it. I think if I, I definitely would love to come back and do more Lavara walks and possibly stay. Um, I think definitely if you want to do lots of walking, I think you would need a car if you were to do some hiking and walking. But I am happy with what I managed to squeeze in for the time that I was here. And I also got in a little rest too. If you enjoyed this video, you know the drill. Cheeky thumbs up if you're new to my channel. I don't normally do travel videos. <laughs> and with the price of travel, I probably won't be doing many this year. <laughs> but I will pop a link to uh, my vlog playlist which has lots of travel videos on it from throughout the years, so you can check it out if, if you like what you see. I normally do an old interior video on a Thursday and a garden video on a Sunday, but um, yeah, stick around if you liked what you saw, hit the subscribe button, and for my regular viewers, I will see you in the Sunday's video.